Hi everyone, Angie here from LDRS again. And um, today I want to show you um, our new stencil line. We've got two brand new stencils. These are the first two stencils we've ever done. And um, they're just stunning. Look at this. We've got one that you can produce your own plaids, um, your beautiful background plaid papers. And then we have another with these gorgeous um, fall and woodsy leaves. Um, I want to show you what they look like. Isn't that simple and gorgeous? Look how pretty. This one is actually called plaid. And then we have this one that is called leaves. How simple. <laughs> I love them. These are really beautiful, basic, simple, yet stunning patterns. And um, in the same fall collection, we actually released for the very first time um, these beautiful hybrid ink mini cubes. We've got uh, one here that is, um, this one is actually called Jewelry Beads, and it's because of the gorgeous colors of these gems here. And then we have this other one that is called Cobblestone that is so perfect. Um, it's gorgeous for shadowing. It's gorgeous for uh, if you're working with, with a forest and trees or like its name, cobblestone. These hybrid inks, I wanna give you a quick little lowdown on these. These hybrid inks are so fantastic. Um, hybrid means that um, it can actually be used um, for a dual purpose. Um, these inks are so gorgeous, you can use them if you're gonna be working with alcohol markers, you can use them if you're going to be working with watercolors and, um, and other um, water-based mediums. They are absolutely wonderful. They're not technically designed for embossing with embossing powders because they do dry a little bit faster. But if you work quickly, I I mean I guarantee you, you can do it. I was actually able to do it, so I was very impressed with these. These little mini ink pads are very juicy as well, so they're gonna last you a while. So um, I showed you these. I created these. Um, I'm gonna show you how I did this beautiful fall plaid. And I did it using, let me see if I can straighten that out for you, using um, inks from this particular mini ink cube set. So I've already taken and taped down my stencil and you can see it's got some color on it because I didn't clean it very well and it's been loved and used, um, but it really is, um, that, that color is dried in there so it's not gonna make a difference. Um, let me move this down here so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm opening up my little mini ink cubes. Please excuse my arms. Um, here, let's put this here so that you can see that. And this one here. Let's move these down a little bit so that they're in view for you. And here we go. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry again, please excuse my arms. There we go, so you can see everything. And I've got these little daubers here as well, okay? So I've taped down my stencil. It's just on some plain white paper, and I taped it down so it stays in place really nicely, and it, you know that, that way it's a little bit more flat, I guess, up against the paper, so um, it's gonna work a little bit nicer for me. I'm gonna start with the yellows, and I'm not gonna do this whole thing. I just wanna show you how I did it. So I'm gonna start by adding in my yellows, and I did this in kind of a random fashion to start. You can be real specific with how you add this color, okay? Where it gets placed, but I just wanted to do this really fast. You know, we don't have a whole lot of time in our days anymore, and so, you know, if I can kind of speed up some of my crafting and get something that's still just as gorgeous, then I will do that. Then I'm gonna come in with some orange, just dabbing that in there and I start adding it around. Now as you start adding your colors, your additional colors in there, you may wanna start thinking just a little bit more about where you're placing the colors, so I'm not necessarily going right over the yellow that I did, and these, I tell you, these are going to blend so beautifully, beautifully because these ink pads are really, really juicy. Look how quick that is. And then I chose to kind of shadow a little bit with the green. And all I'm gonna do is start bringing that green in 
and I tend to go a little bit less and less with each of the layers. So when I added the yellow first, I added more yellow, covered more space. Look how quickly this is coming together. It's so incredibly simple. And it's, you know, to me, I love crafting. and I can spend hours in my craft room, but if I can put together something that is just gorgeous and I can do it in a fraction of the time, then why not? This part should be fast, shouldn't it? Don't you think? Look at that, look how pretty that is. So I'm gonna move these out of the way now. And I'm just going to peel up this stencil. I'm not gonna do it in the prettiest way. <laughs> but look at that, how gorgeous. I mean, really, it looks exactly like what I did and what it, that took me just, what, a couple of minutes to do? Look how vibrant the color is. Look how beautifully they've blended together. It's really that easy. Now, here's an example of how we did this and we used it. Sorry, you can hear me knocking everything around. <laughs> but here's an example of how we did a very clean and simple um, background on a card base with just a few of those colors. Isn't that so pretty? One of our false sentiments and some little leaves that we just made a little wreath with. Here's an example. I took, this is what I did. I actually just did this one yesterday. Look how beautiful that is for Christmas. How stunning. And what I did, I actually used, I used the Raven and the Alloy in the mini cubes. And then I grabbed, this one is called Scarlet Rose. And this one is evergreen. I grabbed these two larger ink pads and then I had my two minis from the cobblestone set. And look how gorgeous. I can't wait to get that on a card. Here's an example that I showed you a moment ago um, with the leaves. And I used the same exact color combination, these right here. I used the same exact color combination for this beautiful fall pattern. So I guess the takeaway from this is that um, I want you to have fun with your stencils. Um, stencils are really, really popular again, and we're being very, very selective with the patterns that we create because we want them to be fun and easy for you to use. And uh, we want you to be able to use them for a long time and even across different seasons. So you saw that I used the plaid for fall, but you can work that for Christmas. You can use that in spring, Valentine's Day, summer, um, and then these leaves. I mean, goodness gracious, we've got trees year round. So this doesn't have to be fall leaves. You can make these leaves whatever you want them to be for any season. So. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed this little introduction to our stencils, and I hope you will have a lot of fun playing with yours. So thanks again, and uh, have a wonderful day.